Hey, big guy. Sun's getting real low. Ah, shit, fuck. <laughs> that was pretty good, buddy. And poke. Nope. Really? Oh, hello there. It's me, nobody. Have you ever been stomped on by the Light Reaper and cut in half and thought to yourself, that guy's a dick. But on the other hand, wanted those cool ass weapons he had. So you went out of your way just to beat him early to get those weapons just to find out you can't do this special attack. The fuck? But I have to say, the Light Reaper spell comes out a lot faster. You can just pretty much spam that spell, but at a fraction of the damage. What? The sword special attack does nearly 1,000 damage per hit. What did he say? And it pretty much can nuke people from a mile away, which is really cool. And if you want this special ability for yourself, I'm here to help you, my dudes. And also get you a pretty cool sword and a pretty cool armor set while we're at it. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Well, that's pretty much for the intro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or don't, because you know people are going to do what they're going to do. But thank you for watching. Let's go get the Light Reaper Sword Special Attack. It's a pretty long quest, and uh, it's real easy to mess up, so be warned. But it's really fun, and just really cool. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> when you first start the game, you need to go ahead and let the Light Reaper kill you, as well as the next few encounters where he tries to clap your cheeks. This will allow you to face him in the final battle at Upper Calrith, where he actually respawns. And by summoning our old pal Isaac, we will be able to complete the Vengeful Reflection achievement. And after we upgrade the Light Reaper Swords to plus 10, we will be able to perform its special attack. From our very first vestige, we need to pick up a key item to start Isaac's quest. I wonder what happens after he kills you the first time and the Iron Wayfarer shows up i mean does a light reaper get his ass kicked or something gotcha, might bitch. need to pick up the vigor you drop after the light reaper murders your ass but but anyways we're going to go this way and take a right in this weird little swamp area all the way to the end of this path this is where we basically start the quest in the umbral you will see a large door that will be unlocked later on here you will get a very nice sword and a very nifty armor set. You will pick up the item in front of the door to begin the quest. And after we defeat the Dark Crusader, we can come back to this place to collect our much deserved reward. The flayed skin is the key item in this quest, so it's very important you pick this up. There are a total of four stigmas we have to find, but most can be collected as you progress through the game. The first stigma we are going to pick up is at Lower Calrith, Vestige of Sebastian. From this vestige, it will be easier to find in the Umbral. This stigma is at the very start of the area, so if you're not in Umbral already, it's very easy to miss. But we will so play that to get the Wooden Dark Crusader Cross. Listen to the dialogue and afterwards just return to the vestige or continue throughout the game. It's a weird little side quest, but this quest has to be done to be able to summon Isaac at the Light Reaper's final encounter in Upper Calrith. The second stigma we need to pick up is at Freef. It's just behind the vestige and just in front of the gate that has to be unlocked. After you so flay its blue ass, we can now move on to the third stigma. Starting at the vestige before the gimmicky hollowed crow boss fight, we will go through the arena and down the ladder. Go down the ladder. We will run through this long hallway or corridor. I don't want to assume it's gender. That would be rude. It may just identify as a football field for all I know. Who am I to judge? And pay no attention to the large light beam shooting out of its ass. We don't ask those types of questions around here. We'll drop down this ladder, and we don't ask why. We ask why not. 
And this is where you fight the Light Reaper for the third time. As soon as you walk into that area, he will spawn in. So be warned. If you kill him before you get to Upper Calrath, it will ruin the whole quest. And your swords will not be able to do the special attack. From here, you will go into Umbral. You will head out this way. And there should be a stigma stuck in the ice somewhere. Yes, right here. We'll so play that. Our fourth and final stigma is that Path of Devotion Memorial. Vestige of Dieter. Died here. These names are something else. It's like they don't want you to pronounce them right. But anyways, we'll go here to get our final stigma. If you're doing that Hunchback Merchant's quest, he will be right here. He will appear throughout the game. There are a few enemies here, so beware, because they are pretty tough, and they will murder you. Now these guys are surrounded by a parasite, but they can be hurt, but they will be healed as well, so... There's a dog somewhere. There he is. Always have to take out the dogs first, because he's the most trouble. Those archers are the worst, I swear. They're so annoying and they fire like super quickly. But here, you will go into the umbral. You will murder this parasite just because he's an asshole. No. And this is our fourth and final stigma. So flame, the fourth stigma should unlock Isaac's door, so now you can go fight him. Murder him and it will do something to the flayed skin that will allow you to go back to the beginning of the game and get all his equipment, his armor and his sword. So let's go murder Isaac and steal his stuff. Now if you come here before you so flay all four stigmas, the door will be locked and you will not be able to enter. What's up bro? Hi! Chilling out? Yeah, you just keep doing that bro. I'll leave you alone. Gonna go ahead and buff our weapon. Start our healing routine down. And we're gonna run. Get your fat ass back here. Go ahead, run past all these guys. We're going to try to stay away from him. And go fight him again. Alright. That was a cheap shot, bro. Do you think? This is my own private domicile and I will not be harassed! Bitch! Really? He's already doing it? I'm not dealing with that spell today, bro. I mean, I just did. He kind of caught up to me and I died. You got me with that one. Be gone! Jesus! Yeah, he hits pretty damn hard. You know what? You stop all that. That's bad. Really fucking bad. You dirty knight. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Do you wanna play rough? Oh, he's already casting that bitch of a spell now. That in PvP sucks. What is he not doing anything? He's just staying there? Did you glitch out, buddy? 
Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, oh, you just stand there. It was a trap. And you're dead. Jesus Christ. Good job, Isaac. How dare you! Or was that Isaac or was that someone else? Now that he's defeated, we need to go back to the very start of the game. We need to go to the Vestige of Rannick. You will go back to the spot where we picked up the flayed skin. Which would be past the first area where we fought the Light Reaper. Be this way. Going to Umbral. And there we go. That will open up the door and we can get his armor set. And his sword. I already had that armor set because that's the class I started as, but for anybody who didn't start as that class, that's where you get that armor set at. Now that we've done that, when we go fight the Reaper, we're going to die to him again, but we should be able to summon Isaac after that. There's a mini boss that guards the hand of Adir after we defeat that little boss we can go back to upper cowrith and fight the light reaper for the final time the boss you have to defeat isn't really all that hard but it's the next step to make the reaper show up in his final location Not really a fair fight if you ask me, cause you pretty much gang up on this little shit. Huntress of the Dusk. <laughs> Already getting bodied. You can either hang back, shoot spells, or just mess them up with your crossbow. However you want to deal with it. He pretty much says fuck off and then you're off to fight. He pretty much says fuck off then you're off to fight Judge Cleric, but you don't have to. You can go fight the Light Reaper now if you want to. It's up to you. However you want to progress. basically tells us to fuck off. But now the Light Reaper should be in his final location, so we can go ahead and, uh, go check that out. Okay, from the Skyrest Vestige, we're gonna wanna head this way to where we fought PETA at the beginning of the game, our first actual boss fight. And we're going to run out here in the courtyard, behind it, or before it, and there's... Well, if all the frames would stop dropping, I really hope they fix all this. Along with the PvP, because I'm really getting tired of getting invaded by max level invaders and one-shotted with their two big-ass swords. This game has so much potential if they just focus on the right things instead of the Red Reaper. We're going to Umbral right here. As you can see, things has changed just a slight bit. And we're going to need to Soul Flay this. 
And that should unlock the Black Reaper boss fight. Now we're going to run through all this and uh, if we don't see her summon Mr. Isaac there to help us, we're going to have to let the Light Reaper kill us. And then we go back in and he should be there. But I'm going to show you exactly where to put your temporary vestige. Woo! <laughs> I did not think it'd do that much damage. But it did. Go ahead, buff up just in case I need it. Alright, we're gonna run. Run past all these dirty hoo ha's. Oh, I don't like the frame dropping. Jesus! Don't want to go up here. Enemies are near. Really? Can I please get up this ladder, buddies? Enemies are something else in this game. Okay. This is where we want to put our temporary vestige. We're gonna go ahead and rest. And we should be good to uh, have the first. I don't see any summons. We're gonna go ahead and let the Light Reaper defeat us. Oh, what is that? What the hell? That was weird. When did he show up? So... He has a Umbral Parasite, so you're gonna have to get rid of that first off. But... Like I said, we're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna let him murder us so we can summon our friend. So we can actually get the Light Reaper special attack. Come on. There you go. Good job, buddy. I'll get you next time. Let's see if we can, uh, find where that parasite is. Yeet. Does the branch go up here? Yeah, there it is. That gets rid of that. Alright, Isaac. Motherfucker. Am I an umbral? I guess I am. Yeah, I have to be in order to unlock that. Who are you? No, we want Isaac. We won't be we want Big Daddy Isaac to help us out. I'm hoping that got rid of the parasite. I don't know. Yeah, it did. At least he doesn't have it on his health bar anymore. Bad dragon. It's a real bad dragon. Isaac, get out of the fire, boy. That's the bad, bad Isaac. Oh, wow. That's not cool.
<laughs> Already halfway. Yeah, I think we're gonna win this time, Isaac. If you stay out of the fire. Quit doing that to Isaac. We need him to live. Poor Isaac. Get out the farm. We should be able to kill him now. Damn it, Isaac. You just let him murder you. Woo. That's hot. I'm out of stamina. Really? Hold up. Let me get my gun out. Ha. You killed Isaac, you son of a bitch. Whoa! What is that? Don't get too greedy. And you're dead. I shake my feet to establish dominance. Oh god. I win! And I shake my feet. Okay, this should have gave me the. It should have gave me the, the quest that I needed to give me the special attack. Go ahead, go into Umbra Realm and, uh. So play that. Hmm. I don't know, bros. We'll see, I guess. Still got me. What the fuck? Why can't why is it not doing my special attack? Fucking weird. Now What the fuck? Okay. Oh, this is weird. Stop it. Did you enjoy this video? 
Consider subscribing to the main channel at Mr. Nobody Elden Souls where it's more focused on invading. Or the second channel at Nobody Elden Things where its focus is on helping and will be the main hub for invading for dummies. Subscribe to both and I promise you will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching, my tarnished. And we will see you next time. Like and subscribe or I'll death blight you in your sleep. This message has been approved by the mayor of Froggy Town.